Good afternoon. When we go through this study today, keep in mind that this is how the manufacturing sector here in China is working in every single industry. This feature is about electric cars, but this is how they also work in heavy equipment, in maritime, in furniture, in aeronautics, in electronics. Whatever industry you're in, consider how China is using these techniques to blow up the global car industry and know that they are doing the same thing in yours. So the analysis here is from the Wall Street Journal dated 4 March. And the journal here is asking just why and how China has come out of nowhere and now makes electric vehicles faster than anyone else. China develops cars 30% faster than established brands, the legacy automakers. Chinese work on many stages of development at the same time, in parallel, instead of in a linear development fashion. They can swap out suppliers quickly in favor of smaller ones and faster ones. And they run a lot of virtual tests. They use software to simulate how changes in materials and in production techniques or anything else will affect the entire project. They also standardize as much as possible, not only for a car, for the mechanics of the car, but especially on the electronics. It's the electronics where Chinese have such dominance anyway. Uh, over 90% of all the electronics in the world come through South China. So if they can get the electronics right and scale that up quickly, and they can, this is an advantage that other car makers don't have because they have to go through China to get electronics too. Chinese companies also behave like small startup companies. Even their biggest companies act like small ones. Decisions are made faster. Innovation happens faster in smaller companies compared to big ones. And that is a key edge here as well. This is a table of what legacy car makers are up against here in the Chinese market. It shows how quickly Chinese brands can introduce new models of cars. The brands at the top, everyone knows those, Toyota, Volkswagen, Tesla. Toyota introduced a new electric vehicle in 2020 and another in 2022. Tesla has introduced five models in seven years. Here are the Chinese brands, and unless you're here, you probably don't know these. Xpeng introduced two models just last year, 2023. Neo did three last year. BYD has introduced a new model every year, usually two a year. And last year, they brought out four new models. Obviously, this has legacy car makers back home gravely concerned and also desperate to adopt some of the same techniques for themselves. Tesla and Ford both have said that the Chinese are going to put them out of business unless the United States and Europe can keep out Chinese cars. Volkswagen is here in China along with Volvo and a few others and they actually benefit from the relationships here. Here they mention parallel development models again. If you think about it, the improvement that came from the internal combustion engine cars were very slow, happened over long stretches of time, incrementally. For electric vehicles, everything has moved very fast. And the parallel project management system is a big reason for that. Another is the simulation software, which obviously wasn't available at all for manufacturers in any industry until recently. But it means that engineers can work much faster. And 3D printing means that they can test out new parts and new processes on site instead of having things custom built in a tool and die shop or a machine shop. This last factor is a novel management style involving vendors. Usually a lot of due diligence goes into vendor selection, especially for something like mass production of automobiles. But in China, even that happens a lot faster. And they assume that as business comes in, the suppliers they work with can scale up quickly. 
it is a solid review here in the journal and we'll link to it in the video description. It's about a 10 minute read. Uh, and we'll repeat our first point. That is, this is how the Chinese are upending and transforming all of manufacturing. China went from producing zero cars or just cheap knockoffs of cars. That was a decade ago. And now Toyota and GM or Ford are worried that they won't make it through the next decade. That's how fast it's happened in automobiles. And it's happening in every un other industry too. And this is how. They have a lot of money and they're making more every day. They have a lot of engineers and they're making more of those every day. And they're very, very fast at making decisions. If you are a Western business executive and you see the Chinese manufacturing system and their systems across their entire economy, you are quickly put to a decision. And it's kind of the same decision that Tesla and Ford and Volkswagen and Volvo come to. You can either compete against them or you can cooperate with them or you can give up. And if you're big enough, you can call your friends in Washington to ask for sanctions, which might buy you a little bit of time. But that's the conclusion almost everybody eventually comes to. Enjoy the weekend. Be good. See first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will.